Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We've got a lot to discuss with you today. So much stuff. Star Fox, Fallout 4, Hitman, Konami, PlayStation's 20th anniversary, so we'll talk about all that today. Uh, my name is Will, and this is Gage. Hello. This is Mr. Nye. Yellow. And Yes, I said yellow. Yellow, sure. Um, so, let's let's talk about some news. Show me what you got. We got a lot, of, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Uh, DICE confirms that Battlefront uh, has new stuff in it. <laughs> new stuff in it. Do you not they know what that is? It's dedicated servers is what it says. Dedicated servers. Yeah, so they confirmed dedicated servers. Now, they also denied having, or they confirmed that they're not having private servers like right. you see okay. in other Battlefield games. That made the internet go into another fit of just like, what? Why would you do this when we've already had all this? Every time they announce it. something about Battlefront, Stop doing stuff. Why are you not making the direction. game anymore? They're just so mad. I'm just like, just, just be okay with anything. Uh, you, I, I, why are you so yeah, entitled but, to what is going on? Well, first of all, a lot of people just want to complain just to complain. Well, and I think they're, they're complaining complain. mostly on this because DICE has given Battlefield private servers for so many years now. Right. Sure. And now they're not doing it for Star Wars. Why wouldn't they do it for Star Wars? The thing, I, I hate private servers because I hate jumping into a server where someone is in control of everything. So, like, if they're losing, they're switching teams, and I end up with a loss, or they're just stupid kids, and I'm sorry, kids, stupid kids running the thing, and they're just making That's things terrible. Of people are it's just, it's games. so annoying being in someone else's server where they're controlling everything, where it's just not a fun experience for me. Dedicated well, servers. just don't play them. You have that option. Barely. Uh, you can select dice-only servers. It's I mean, I, I everybody plays private though. <laughs> I mean, whatever the reason is, putting someone in that situation where that can happen, I agree, it's probably not the best. You know, so I'm okay with the dedicated servers in my own lobbies and whatever, and just play the game normally. So this isn't you're totally okay. With I'm alright. I just it's okay. this. I don't care. I heard about I this. I saw it online. So I, I was like, care. oh, that's cool. Put it away. Check the comments like 20 minutes later. No one's on board. <laughs> oh man, I wonder why though. My phone almost blew up with all everybody the racial slurs. Huh? They want to be able to control things. I don't like it. But if if you're if the if the a game lot of has always been that way, maybe Battlefront hasn't always. A lot been that a way. lot of a lot of Battlefield people really like the high ticket count. Battlefield, that's sure. Sorry. Where you get into a match and it's like five thousand tickets to to win. Sure. Which makes the game last forty five minutes to an hour, which right. is why people like it because they're not in a match and then they're out of a match five minutes later. Here's what so, you do: do it for the PC players. That, those seem to be like the ticket, the, the private guys. You can't, you can't do it for the PC players. Can't do it for one and not do it for everybody. True. I would absolutely do that. All right. So anyway, Although, we're going about it by the other thing. Press Start TV. We're talking about Battlefront. Having Again. Is servers. Uh, so there you go. Game. Call of Duty. Uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, the 316 PS3 only uh, has multiple zombies, I guess. Multiplayer <laughs> and <laughs> zombies. We got it. My <laughs> God, you're more terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> there's no so, campaign right. at all on the 360 and PS4 version. No, we knew that, didn't we? Didn't we already know that? No, no. That that's just that's came out. Well, like, we've known it. that. But on the PS4 Today. And Xbox One, <laughs> it's the full experience on PS4 and Xbox One and yeah. PC. It's the full experience. They came out and said that you know, with they specifically built this game around the next generation hardware. It was never Thank intended you. to be built from the ground Thank up you. on PS3 and 360. But. A lot of people are thankful that they get at least something. They get well, this three, 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 and... Not, not that they get something. They get the thing that the people are only playing on Call of Duty. No one cares about the campaign. They, they don't have... They also don't get the, the gun paint shop. Oh, no. Yeah. What? I'm heartbroken about that. <laughs> Give me my what? $60 back. It's only $50. It's on the PS3. What? So 360 and PS3 is only $50. Play on their PS3 and playing on Xbox Live on the 360, again, at least they get something. Though. And they get a download code for Black Ops 1. That's cool. So That sounds like a better deal. <laughs> right? Well, I love Black Ops. I'm only playing the campaign for the achievements. But your PS4 and Xbox One version does not get Black Ops 1. But, but gets the full campaign. Well, maybe on Xbox One. And it's do. literally built for that console, so um, <laughs> it's not really on Xbox One. Games. You know what I mean? Stop trying to buy my love. Are you gonna get Black Ops? I don't know yet. Are you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. We talked about this. Can't I mean, tell me what I'm buying. Like <laughs> I can't. Three <laughs> games in one, right? I mean, you get the, the Shadows the, of Evil, which is the zombie mode. 
You get regular multiplayer, course, regular multiplayer, and everything that comes with that. New, we played multiplayer. It's good, super smooth. New weapons, just you know, good stuff. And then of course the regular campaign, the four player campaign. Yeah, so great, great stuff. Love the uh, campaign too. And lot. moving on to Nintendo stuff, uh, Star Fox was delayed to 2016. A little disappointing. But they said it was coming out this year. They did. Oh no! They explicitly Someone said, said Star Fox will be happen. out this year. Ooh, they Nintendo. said it in a Nintendo Direct, didn't they? Now, I understand I the game I don't know. Delayed, I'm just... like everybody understands, but when you come out and say, we will be releasing this game this year, and then you come, and then you don't. What happened to Mighty Number no. 9? Last Guardian. Not the Last Guardian. What happens to just like 50% of games that are just huge budgets we, that they know, can do anything it with? It got delayed. It got delayed. But don't come out and say, hey, we're really... It's like... Things happen. It's like Bethesda saying, sorry, guys. Fallout 4 is done, but you can't have it till January. Yeah. It's also kind of fair, can Nintendo... All of the internet would go... <laughs> <laughs> Bonkers. Bonkers. Nintendo can pretty much get away with anything right now because Iwata passing. They probably saw a lot there because they're super respectful over in Japan. So yeah, don't they probably shut down production. Or maybe they, did, they delayed it to make sure the Nathan Drake storyline adds up in the <laughs> Uncharted delay. So the, and, and they inter in a way yeah, here. Going back to the comment though, I mean, absolutely. Sure. If, if they're all the reason in the world, do whatever you got to do. But I just you know. <laughs> Again, they, they come out, they say this game's going to come out, and it doesn't. I mean, a lot of people are probably like, you know, hey, I was expecting to pick this game up this holiday season. Sorry about your luck. Yeah, so anyway. Learn video game stuff. Are you going to get Star Fox? Yeah, I'll get it. You're a big Star Fox fan, right? I am a huge Star Fox fan. The controllers are a little crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they were that play tight yet, at E3. So. All right, we'll have more for you right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just got to talk about some Star Fox being delayed and Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, PS3 and 360 having not no campaign for zombies, right? And then uh, DICE confirms that Battlefront has dedicated servers. So that's what we're talking just about. Just no campaign in Black Ops. It still has zombies, it still has multiplayer. There's no campaign. There's just no campaign. No campaign for PS3 and 360, so no campaign for you. Did you forget? I did. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, uh, but now let's talk about some Fallout 4. Okay. Woo! Are you going to buy Fallout 4? Yeah. Oh, I'm absolutely buying Fallout I 4. I probably won't play it the day it comes out, though. I will probably. Because I'll be playing Tomb Raider. Oh, well, interesting. That's Same what, day. I, think, I have words that I, I can't Fallout, say right now. Fallout We're on the radio. Fallout is going to be absolute. I think people that aren't maybe hardcore gamers or people that aren't into games will end up buying Fallout 4 just because of everybody else's buying Fallout. They don't know why they're buying buying Fallout 4, but they're going to buy it. Again. I know why I'm buying Fallout 4. So you know what I mean? I'm not saying because caravans. Of, well, they're not drug addicts. I'm saying that's <laughs> exactly what it is. People are going to go out and buy Fallout 4 because of the hype and because everybody else is playing it and they want to play it too. The that's why people bought The Witcher 3. It's like crack. It, it's like Call of Duty kind of. I, that's what's going to happen with this game. Okay. Wait and see. Still playing Tomb Raider first. Because I'll fun. finish Tomb Raider. But you're buying Fallout 4. Yeah. yeah. I will It'll finish Fallout 4. For weeks. I will finish Fallout 4 in like the year 2028. Okay. Fallout 6 will be out here. then. <laughs> I will give somebody a thousand dollars if anybody calls you out on that in, in the year 2028. Anyway, um, Fallout 4. So they have came out and announced that they will not have any console exclusive DLC. Thank you, Bethesda. That's awesome. Agreed. Totally on board with that. I want to know where we stand on mods for PS4. They're coming That's later the than Xbox One. That's the only thing I want to know. They're just coming later than Xbox One. I know. They're coming. I just want to know when. Later. <laughs> Thanks. Delayed to 2016. So I, I think this is a With great, Star Fox. A great move. <laughs> and Uncharted. Uh, I, I don't. I hate. I hate exclusive console DLC. I mean, I hate exclusive matter. anything. Yeah, it, I just. I like. It's the same game. Everybody gets to experience it. Enjoy. You know. Um, Have fun. After Tomb Raider. Hitman is delayed until 2016. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Hitman. Forgot yeah. about that. Moving on. Konami. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Hitman looks good. So, so you know, Hitman does look I, good. We'll see I, what happens. I've mm. never liked the Hitman game. Oh, Wasn't Hitman Absolution? Hitman? Yeah, the movie just came out. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not. Do you watch it? It's better than the first one, but it's no, not that great. I didn't watch it, and I don't think I need well, how do you know this? What are you doing this for? You don't need to watch it. I'm pretty agreeable with people online. <laughs> In a way. 
Anyway, uh, this guy. Konami. I mean, so Konami. What's the question? Is what's next? So right? we haven't. Had Konami has been just. Un unfortunately for us, we haven't had an episode in a while, and we we missed a lot of Konami stuff. We should talk about. Okay. Yeah. Right. One. All right, so so Sorry. one. Con Konami says they're giving up on AAA uh, titles on console except for Pez. Totally done. And they said the rumor is that they're still working on Metal Gear Solid after, huh? Pez is a triple A title. I guess. <laughs> According to them. Second, way, second best soccer game. You're listening to Press Start TV. My name is Will. This is Gage. Hey. This is Nine. Yep. Then the report that they're working on the Metal Gear Solid game was total bull. That they, they, they just said that just to get us to think they were so we can support, support, support Konami some more. There's no more Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, wow. And now we're That's hearing that Konami is still supporting AAA console games and Metal Gear and Metal Gear uh, I would I don't believe the Metal Gear thing I think, I think Metal they're Gear they're just stops. trying to smooth Hold things on, so over they, they came out and said they're going to do it and then they they're, said that that was a lie and now they're going back to saying they keep flip-flopping yeah. their stories like every week it's a new thing they recently what had a marketing the mobile game thing that was a thing the mobile, they said they were going to go to mobile games and then two weeks later they said no we're, sorry we're still going to stick that's with our that's not in our stuff. budget <laughs> yeah and well, there's, they had a marketing marketing guy just I think I think it was today come out and say no we're still committed to AAA co titles on console. What are they gonna make? Oh, they also said they're keeping the rights to the Fox engine and not using it. Yeah, they have no point, no use the, in the, the Fox lead, engine. The lead creative director for the Fox engine left. Quit. He's gone. And the senior artist for the Fox engine Go left on. because they said oh yeah we're not gonna support it anymore. So they just all right well. If I don't have a job. Why would I stay here? Right. These, these are some talent. You played Metal Gear. Oh yeah. yeah. The that Fox engine was amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's amazing. So I. Yeah. Good. I mean, who knows what they're? I don't know what's going on over there. There must have been some kind of shakeup over there. I mean. This is worse than Roger Goodell. <laughs> <laughs> But we don't know. That's not fair. We, we don't know, That's though. We don't fair. know what's really happening. But so, so when you ask the question, what's next? I mean, it's hard to answer that question because they're just all they don't. I know there's plenty. There's plenty of publishers and developers out there who get asked questions all the time, and they just try and if there's if something's in the works, they try well, and ignore it and put it brush it to the side. These guys are coming out and saying one thing and then retracting their statements right after. I wonder if they're suffering the same fate that Sega, as a hardware developer, suffered. You know, their biggest majority lead is Dreamcast? Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Dreamcast. Dreamcast, <laughs> the, the company started to, to sink. Anyway, sure. they lost a major asset, and therefore they switched directions. I think that's what's happening here. I think they're going to end up, since they lost Kojima, they lost a major asset, and I think they're the just going to sell off their IPs and disband. I think we're going to see them go away like THQ and... Um, Irrational games There's and stuff like that. Words. I mean, Konami's been around a long time, big well, company. But, but that, think of what they're doing. They keep flip-flopping their stories, and nobody knows no what in the world. No one over there is making yeah, a good, good PR move. As so, else, so I, I and I don't think they're going to ride success on the coattails of Pez. No, definitely not. Especially when FIFA's kicking butt all over the place. Yeah. There, there's been some good Pez games, but recently... Not so much. Nine, you played Pez at E3? I couldn't figure out what the heck I was doing. Okay. I was pressing the buttons it told me to do, and it was not doing them. So, we're just being brutally honest here, can't, unfortunately. Can't. But. <laughs> just run! 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 That's but, not my team. But Konami, I mean, a great, great company. Uh, we, so far. I mean, we'll, we'll see what it had happens. been. We'll they shut down Silent Hills, which was a uh, dumb move. Yeah, you know, like I said, there must have been some kind oh, of great God. shakeup. But we'll see how it plays out with them. That's that's a good. I mean, that might be what happens. Who knows? We'll we'll see how it goes down. Uh, when we get back, we'll talk about uh, the PS One, the twentieth anniversary. Some of the best memories we have from that. Um, and uh, there was a poll of best fan voted games for the PS One. So we'll talk about that here in just a second. Right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, PlayStation 1. Before we get into that, we should talk about Red Bull Battlegrounds. We want to say a big thank you to Red Bull. Thank you for having us down at Battlegrounds. It was a great, great event. Uh, Huck and MC uh, took the championship there. We covered that. We got to meet uh, Total Biscuit. You guys can check out that interview on our YouTube channel. Very cool. Nine wasn't able to make it to that, but that's okay. I really wanted to meet Biscuit. Yeah, it was, really it was cool. The event was great. Red Bull puts on a great, great event, and um, you know, Battlegrounds is, uh, is 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 really well done. And we we're glad to see all the players out there. It was it was it was a good show. 
<laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Just keep going. Well, yeah, no, you're good. What, We're having a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, Red Bull, again, thank you for, for that. Uh, we very much appreciate it. Um, did you enjoy yourself? Or? Oh, I had a great time. Yeah. I mean, I still, I was, I'm not a big StarCraft II person. I was just trying to learn as I went. Everything seemed different. But I, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I had a good time. I mentioned myself. that it seemed like it was a smaller crowd than last year. They, they had a, they wanted to have a more intimate setting, um, and that's that's what we were like told, lights so. and candles and stuff. No, it was just a yeah. packed. I mean, it was cool. We had an upper <laughs> balcony seating area thing. It was it was neat. But uh, Battlegrounds, <laughs> once again, it's good, and um, Red Bull is getting more and more involved to so the esports. So we have to be working with them. Um, we're we're big fans of Red Bull, and if you're not playing Destiny, you should drink Red Bull. And get your free uh, code. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all that. Tie all that in together. Yeah. So Red Bull, thank you again for Battlegrounds. It was a great time. Um, and check out our Total Biscuit interview. 20th anniversary PlayStation. <gasps> My God, it's 20 years old. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's hard to believe. It is. Uh, Not of course, really. the, the original PlayStation was going to be what? A Super Nintendo add-on. That's right. Mm -hmm. yep. And Nintendo cut that deal, and they're like, you know what? We'll just do it anyway. We made competitors. <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't the best decision. Have you seen that thing, though? It's ugly. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was ugly. It's sin, dude. Like it was the, the N64 DD. Well, well, the Sega CD, almost. Kind of, kind of like sat. Well, it went the under the system. Instead, the Sega well, CD no, kind of like I, yeah. attached and sat off to the side. No. The original one sat underneath the system. I never saw the original Did it? one yet. Because I remember the Nintendo 64 DD sat under. The Genesis one, <laughs> it was a metal. Oh, I never player. had a Genesis one. So the I original had a Genesis, Genesis three. with the Ge the Sega CD, it like it had four little pegs, and you'd set it down, plug it in like this, and that was your Sega CD. The next iteration, the Sega CD, came out with the one along the side. Yeah, that one with the Genesis. That's three. the one. I that's know. the one I had. Yep. The, the tiny Genesis. Yeah, the original Sega CD came mm -hmm. packaged with Sherlock Holmes. And, and uh, I'm some, sorry you played that. Yeah, that was the first game that had FMVs, CG, uh, CGs. Anyway, it's uh, PlayStation. Let's talk about Sega. Let's talk about Sony's uh, 20th anniversary. It came out with a cool controller and a console. yeah, that controller is wicked awesome. That's pretty cool, actually. It's I love the controller. It's built for small hands. <laughs> best PlayStation memory, no? Uh, my best PlayStation memory. Probably going to have to be when I first played Gran Turismo. Mm, okay. yeah, yeah, sure. My cousins brought it down one one time when they came down from Pennsylvania, and we stayed up all night just working to get the best car in the game. And we finally got it, and my system cut out. <laughs> <laughs> it just died. Most like it just shut off. Life. Like you know what? You've played for 14 hours straight. We're done. Mm -hmm. Before I could save the game. I was mad. By the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name is Will. This is Gage. Hello. This is Nine. We're talking yep. about best memories on the PlayStation 1. Gage, what do you got? Um, Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, is that the Wrath of Cortex? Yes. Yeah. I love Wrath of Cortex. Uh, <coughs> Twisted Metal. Love Twisted Metal 2. I'm asking for one here. I, I mean, that's... You can never ask Gage for just one. He just... He's like you. He just lists off He's things. I, I've got a weird one. Um, okay, say, like, that reminds me of the Rapper, the rapper I mean, aren't you? Jet Moto. That's a great game. Jet Moto's awesome. That is a fantastic game. Sitting together with some friends, just racing over and over Always and over pick the green bike. Always pick the green bike. Mm -hmm. Over and over. It was, it was just, it was good times, man. Was great, I like just memory. going full speed into the wall and watching my rider just tumble off into the map. <laughs> sure. It was hilarious. Um, so, uh, recently there was a poll where they had other fans like us vote on their best PlayStation uh, games, so the best game, top four games of the PlayStation console. So let's talk about that. Okay. Uh, we'll start off with number four. Number four was Crash Bandicoot Warped, the third one. The third one? The third one. So Crash, of course. Uh, you know, I kind of figured Crash would make that list yeah. at some point. I mean, point. He, 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 to. he was, was the there, mascot he was for crying out loud. He, they were trying to really push him to be Mario or Sonic or whatever it was, but Crash was their guy and they therefore they put in good production into that. Yep. Naughty Dog, of course. Always Naughty Dog. Great, great company. No Drake, though. Um, Not that. Number three. Crash Bandicoot, the first one. Great game. Great. Love it. I spent a massive amount of time playing that game. And Loved the same it. thing can be said, you know, again, 
that was the game that they were oh, yeah. hoping on being their 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 Mario mascot. Right. I think we talked about Sony's mascot. Who would be a Sony mascot? I don't know. Yeah, um, I was probably right. After that, <laughs> after that, um, we've got number two, Final Fantasy VII. Blah. <laughs> I actually didn't I call that. I called that. No, you said that was the I number said that one. Number one. Yeah. So, but I, I got three of the top. Four. Sure, close. Uh, but I mean, I wasn't involved with this conversation. Yeah, you were no. gone. Final Fantasy VII, obviously, one of the most recognized games of the PlayStation yeah, One. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't like it, but, but you these know, are the, it is what it is. No, these are fans. So, yeah, true fans. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, nine. Let's include you. Oh, you already does. He already, do you already do you know number one? I don't think I heard you guys talk about it. Okay, no, cool. I have no idea. You got a guess? For the first, the number one like number fan, one number fan one fan voted, voted game for PlayStation One for PlayStation One. Yeah. Make it quick. It's only on PlayStation, is what I'm going with. Great I have no niche. idea. It's Metal Gear Solid. Metal, Metal Gear, Solid. Gear Solid. It's a great game. Great game. It's a fantastic great game. Great game. So there, there. You I can get on board with that. For those games, those are your top four games on the original PlayStation console. Twenty years has been crazy. Anyway, check us out on YouTube.com/psvgtv, Twitch.tv/press underscore start underscore TV. That is all the time we have for you today. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Until next time, see ya. Bye, everybody. Bye.